สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone Welcome to speak Thai with me Paul Before we begin Here is another eye test for you Can you identify this group of similar looking Thai consonants with the missing looks? If you cannot Oh no Then this video is for you In this new exciting series of videos, you will learn how to read Thai consonants written in classic fonts and modern fonts. And in my previous video, you learn how to read Thai consonants written in classic fonts and the secrets to identifying Thai consonants that look same same but different. However, many viewers like Akira, Ellen, and Putlo commented they have difficulties reading Thai texts in real life, especially with the missing looks, and have requested a video on how to read modern Thai texts. So, in this video, you will learn how to read Thai consonants written in modern fonts. And if you want to know the secrets to identifying 10 groups of similar looking Thai consonants with the missing looks, continue to watch my video. For a start, the first group consists of these 8 similar looking consonants which have the basic shape of a chicken head. Although the first consonant, ko gai, has no look, it is easily recognizable by the mouth of the chicken, gai, at the top left of the consonant in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the mouth is replaced by a small beak. In fact, in certain modern fonts, the mouth totally disappears. Oh no! Making the consonant looks like an inverted U shape. So, the next time you see an inverted U shape, remember, it is the consonant ko gai. Aha! The next two consonants, po tung and po san pao, looks like ko gai, except for the additional look at the bottom left of the consonant in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the look is replaced by a horizontal extension line. For to tung, the extension line is inside, while for po san pao, the extension line is outside. The secret to identifying the difference is to know that tung, which refers to bag, is used for keeping things inside, while sampao, which refers to junk boat, has a head pointing outside. Oh. This for you. In certain modern fonts, such as Jasmine UPC, you may see the loop replaced by a short curve facing inward or outward instead of a horizontal extension line. Mm. The next two consonants, do chada and to patat, looks like po san pao, except for the additional extension below the consonant. However, in modern fonts, the extension is simplified. To help you identify the difference, Note that the extension for to patat is more crooked than that of do chada. The next three consonants, cho, te, no, ni, and yo, ying, look like a combination of to, tung with three other Thai consonants. For cho, te, it is with mo, ma, after removing the top left loop of more ma and replacing the bottom left loop with a vertical extension line. For no name, 
it is with no nu after removing the top left loop of no nu and replacing the bottom right loop with a vertical extension line. So, this for you. In modern fonts, the loop of some consonants can be replaced by a vertical extension line instead of a horizontal extension line which you learned earlier. Oh. As for your ying, it is with bo mai mai after removing the top left loop of bo mai mai and it's the easiest to identify as it has an additional curve below the consonant looking like a shoe worn by a lady. Ying. Mm. The next group consists of another six similar looking consonants which have the same basic U-shape. For the first three consonants, there is a look at the top left in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the look is removed entirely. Oh no. So, this for you. In modern fonts, the look of some consonants is not replaced by an extension line or curve. Instead, it is removed entirely. Oh. The first consonant, Bo Mai Mai, is the easiest to identify as it has the basic U-shape. So, the next time you see a U-shape, remember, it is the consonant Bo Mai Mai. The next consonant, Bo Pla, looks like Bo Mai Mai, except for a longer tail on the right. This consonant is easy to identify as it looks like a fishing hook with a long handle used to catch fish. Bla. The next consonant, so, real si, also looks like bo mai mai, except that the curve on the right in classic fonts is simplified into a horizontal line in certain modern fonts. The next three consonants also have the same basic U-shape except they all have two loops in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, for more mark, the loop at the top left is removed entirely while the loop at the bottom left is replaced by a vertical extension line. For no nu, the loop at the top left is also removed entirely while the loop at the bottom right is replaced by a vertical extension line. As for Cho Chin, the loop at the middle left is replaced by a horizontal extension line while the loop at the bottom right is replaced by a vertical extension line. The next group consists of another six similar looking consonants which have the same basic inverted U-shape with a loop at the center in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the loop is replaced by a short curve. For Do De, the short curve is written clockwise looking up from the bottom left of the consonant. While for Ko Kwai, the short curve is written anti-clockwise looking down from the center of the consonant. To help you identify the difference, think of a child, De, looking up, and a buffalo, Kwai, looking down. Uh -huh. The next consonant, So Sala, is the easiest to identify as it looks like ko kai, except for a little extension at the top right of the consonant, which looks like the protruding curved roof of a pavilion. Sala. The next three consonants all have a similar bump at the top of the consonant. The first consonant, ko kon, is no longer in use 
and is replaced by ko koi. The next consonant, to tao, looks like do de, except that it has a bump at the top of the consonant, which looks like the indented shell of a turtle, tao. Mm. The next consonant, to pu tao, looks like a combination of two consonants, to tao and mo ma. After removing the top left loop of mo ma and replacing the bottom left loop with a vertical extension line, the next group consists of another five similar looking consonants which has the same basic elephant shape. The first two consonants to chang and ko kai has a look at the top left in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the look is replaced by a horizontal line. The first consonant to chang is the easiest to identify as it has the shape of an elephant chang with a tail. The next consonant ko kai looks like cho chang except it has no tail. This for you. In certain modern fonts, the consonant ko kai is narrowed to become a V shape. So the next time you see a V shape, remember it is the consonant ko kai. Aha. The next three consonants all have a loop and a bump at the top left of the consonant in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the loop is removed entirely and the bump is cut off on the left or is simplified to a curve in certain modern fonts such as Lily UPC. The first consonant ko quad is no longer in use and is replaced by ko kai. The next consonant so so looks like to tang except that it has an additional cutoff bump at the top left of the consonant. To help you identify the difference, think of the cutoff bump as a chain so hanging round the neck of an elephant, chang. The last consonant, ko rakang, looks like mo ma, except that it also has an additional cut-off bump at the top left of the consonant. To help you identify the difference, think of the cut-off bump as a bell, rakang, hanging round the neck of a horse. Ma. The next group consists of another five similar looking consonants which have the same basic W shape with a look at the top left in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, for the first two consonants, Po Peng and Fo Fa, the look is replaced by a horizontal extension line facing inward. The secret to identifying the difference is to know that for fa has a longer tail on the right, which looks like a long handle used to cover the lid fa over a container inward. For the next three consonants, the look at the top left is removed entirely. Oh no! To help you identify the difference, the first consonant ho pan looks like the W shape of an offering tray. Pan. So the next time you see a W shape, remember it is the consonant ho pan. Aha. The next consonant ho pan looks like ho pan except for the longer tail on the right, which looks like the long handle of a toothbrush used to brush the teeth. Fun. As 
for the consonant la du la. It is the easiest to identify as the curve at the top right looks like using a string to fly a kite du la to the sky. The next group consists of another three similar looking consonants with a starting loop in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the loop is removed entirely. Oh no! The first two consonants, ngo, ngu, and zo, zan, are the hardest to distinguish. To help you identify the difference, for zo, zan, the top curve covers the whole consonant, while for ngo, ngu, the top curve covers only half the consonant. Oh. On the other hand, the consonant wo wen is the easiest to identify as it looks like a flip over C. So the next time you see a flip over C shape, remember it is the consonant wo wen. Uh -huh. The next group consists of another three similar looking consonants which have the basic shape of a flag on the upper half of the consonant in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, these three consonants have the same basic S shape. The first two consonants, to, to, and ro, ra, are the next hardest to distinguish. To help you identify the difference for ro, ra, the S shape is smoother than that of ta, tong. So, the next time you see a smooth S shape, remember, it is the consonant ro, ra. Aha! On the other hand, the consonant ta, tan, is the easiest to identify as it has an additional shape below the consonant which looks like a pedestal. Tan. The next group consists of another three similar looking consonants which have the same basic H shape in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, for the first consonant or hip. The two loops are removed entirely, making the consonant looks like an uppercase K. So the next step you see an uppercase K shape, remember it is the consonant ho hip. Aha. For the consonant ho tahan, the loop at the top left is replaced by a vertical extension line, making the consonant looks like a lowercase n. So, the next time you see a lowercase n shape, remember, it is the consonant to tahan. Aha! As for the last consonant, honan mun to, the loop at the top left is removed entirely. And the cutoff bump looks like an elaborated headdress of the queen Nan Munto in Thai literature. The next group consists of another two similar looking consonants with a loop at the bottom left in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the loop is replaced by a curve. For the first consonant, lo, ling, it looks like the lowercase a. So, the next time you see a lowercase a shape, remember, it is the consonant, lo, ling. Aha! As for the next consonant, so, si, la, it is the easiest to identify as the protruding extension at the top right looks like the tail of a tiger. Si, la. The last group consists 
of another two similar looking consonants which have a look at the middle left of the consonant in classic fonts. However, in modern fonts, the look is replaced by a horizontal extension line. For the first consonant, or ang, it looks like a flip over uppercase G. So, the next time you see a flip over uppercase G shape, remember, it is the consonant or ang. Aha. The last consonant, honohu, looks like or ang, and is the easiest to identify as the protruding extension at the top right looks like the year of an hour. Nohu. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Now you know how to read Thai consonants written in modern fonts and the secrets to identify Thai consonants that look same same but different with the missing loops. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, click like on the link below. If you find my video meaningful, click share. Click subscribe if you wish to see more of my future videos. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye bye. Sawadika. Cut, cut, set,